What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I'm in another Lamborghini Gallardo today. A couple videos ago, we were in my buddy George. He has that orange Super Leggera. And I got to take it out for the second time. And I actually got to do some videos. I put together what I hope y'all thought was a cool night sequence, kind of cinematic video to go along with that. Not really a review, but it was kind of like a day in the life of owning a Lamborghini Gallardo, just uh, my experience of driving the car. This is this awesome blue, has a lot of super Legera parts on it. The interior in this car is just awesome. This purple Alcantara, I've never seen one quite done up like this before. It really reminds me of the Crown Royal bag, and if, uh, if y'all know me in person, you know that I love me some Crown. And so I just fell in love with this car the first time I saw it. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better inside of the car now versus the last couple videos. We're trying out the brand new GoPro Hero 9 and I also have the Media Mod on it that has a little built-in directional microphone. You might have heard me talk before about just complaining about having to lug too much equipment around to capture really, really crisp audio. That's a super, super lazy, lazy problem I have, I know. But the GoPro is just so good for vlog style video. The stabilization is just mind blowing. Hopefully that sounds a little bit better. I did a couple tests yesterday in the AMG and it sounded great. There was a very, very audible difference between no media mod and the media mod wind noise, the ambient noise inside the car was greatly improved. So we'll see if it sounds better. This is a very, very loud car. I don't know what exhaust is on it, but it has these huge quad tips that come out of the back. Very need for speed style car. A uh, big carbon fiber spoiler, lots of super Legera parts and carbon fiber side skirts. It's just an awesome car. It drives very, very similar to the Super Legera. However, right out of the bat, the first thing that I noticed, and I've talked about this before, these are not manually adjustable seats like the Super Legera. This is, these are a little comfier, electronically controlled seats, and I like them. I think I probably like the Super Legera's a little bit better, but these are insanely comfortable. I love these seats. The E-gear shifts just as hard and scarily, if that's even a word, as the Super Legera's. It's very, I don't know, it doesn't feel fragile, but it feels like it's gonna break, and I have not accelerated hard on this car at all, and I don't plan on doing it. I know Joe well enough that he lets me take his car to do a photo shoot for him, but not in the same way that me and George are friends, and he really asks me to, to beat on his car. So we're gonna take this very easy today. We're just gonna cruise it around for a couple photo shoot locations. There are a few areas with some trees that I'm hoping maybe we can get some of those those bright orange leaves contrasting with this blue car. I'd really like to do that and he also has some underglow on the car and so tonight we're gonna do some nighttime rollers. Like I said it has a real sort of need for speed style to it. I, I love the car. It's super aggressive and very very clean and so well taken care of. This first photo location we're pulling up to has lots of twisty turns and it's very low speed, like 20 miles an hour. But comparing it on this road to the Super Legera, personally, I can't really feel much of a difference in the steering. It feels about as heavy and precise as the Super Legera. That being said, this car could very easily have some aftermarket suspension on it that I'm unaware of. This car has lots of work done to it. From a driver's seat kind of feedback, it doesn't feel that much different than the Super Leisure. It handling's precise, has a good weight to it. Honestly, I thought I was gonna get in here and it was gonna be kind of apathetic and not feel nearly as driver-centric as the Super Leisure, but I guess that would kind of be like comparing base model Corvette to a Z06. You know, the, the base model is fantastic and the Z06 just builds upon the 
already very good platform, then this was just a really good platform to begin with. And the Super Legera reduced weight made it just a little bit more driver focused. So that first location that I already mentioned, the trees are the trees are dead. I, I missed it last week. I was shooting a C8, and the trees there were really, really good, and they're already dead. And so, since it's the middle of the day, it's about one o'clock. I decided we'd come down here, get us some shade, and do the interior photos while the interior is still fresh and clean. My buddy Chandler at Kennedy Detail, who I talk about a lot, he got the car cleaned up for us for the shoot today. And so, we're gonna go ahead and just do the interior photos. It's also really, really windy outside, so I thought it would be good opportunity just to see how the new mic setup on the GoPro works. We're on the Sony a7R4. This is the Sigma 20mm 1.4 art and uh, you can see the interior is just awesome in this car. It's so unique. What we're doing here is we're doing some HDR stuff and so I'm gonna get focused about about in the center. We're shooting at uh, 6.3 so that the majority of the interior is all in focus for these. Later on tonight, once Brandon gets off work, we're gonna do some rolling shots, we're gonna do some action shots, but I'm gonna take the car around and just do some, some quick snaps at a few different locations just while I have it all to myself. <laughs> left out the few things I wanted to talk about on the interior. Like in the Super Legera, you have carbon fiber everywhere. The doors are carbon, you have the manually adjustable seats. But check this out! We have heated seats for when you drive your Gallardo in the snow and it's really cold. You got, you got heated seats. It's a very thoughtful feature, right? Like I said earlier and many times before, I never get on my customers' cars, but you gotta listen to this just a little bit. Oh, it just sounds so, so good. All right, so the last two spots were basically busts. The weather is murdering the shoot. Look, look out here, it's so bad. Turned into a haboob day. And so, I think we're gonna go back to my office, take a look at the few photos we did get, and give the weather a couple hours to maybe, maybe cool off and for some of this dust to blow away. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so the wind has finally died down a little bit and the dust is gone. Oh yeah, and Brandon's here. So that means we can finally go do some action shots. Gonna head to a lightly trafficked area and we're gonna start off with some pan shots. After that, we're probably gonna head downtown, do some urban, some urban photos, then do some rollers and then some night rollers since there's underglow on this car. So. We'll get some cool need for speed style stuff uh, here in just a little bit. Just got done wiping the car down. I have the Sigma 150 to 600. I find this really good lens for pans. And so we're gonna do a few in this parking lot right here. And then there's also some twisty roads that kind of go around this little park area. And I think it'll be a really, really cool spot to get a couple pan shots. So we just finished the pan shots and I couldn't pass up this opportunity at all. Look at these awesome, awesome trees. We got some great shadows, some cool light beams. Oh, I love this, totally by accident too. I find that the majority of the really cool images I capture are like this, just the right place, the right time. So 
it's golden hour and they're gonna do some rollers for the next about 30 minutes or so. But instead of going on a highway with a lot of traffic that was really impeding me on my last shoot, we're going out here outside of town to the four lane road that's divided in the middle. And I think it's gonna be a really chill spot for us to do some really low speed, long exposure rollers. All right, so here we are. Right now we're shooting at 1 15th of a second at an aperture of 16 and it's looking really, really good. So we got some pretty cool photos at Golden Hour. It actually turned out really, really well. It worked exactly like I wanted it to. I got to show you all this. Because it's underglow underneath it and with this in the wing this really gives off like an early 2000s like need for speed hot pursuit sort of vibe or like midnight club and uh here's this little app we can go any color we want <laughs> oh check that out rainbow. Talk rainbow oh look we got lots of modes built in 200 what's mode 200 do get what? you pulled over for yes impersonating we an officer we have the police officer mode another successful shoot aside from the dirt storm blowing in and kind of ruining half of my day. We never got to put the rig on the car, which I planned to do, but we got some good rollers. The new spot we tried out worked really well and so did the night shots with the underglow. I know a lot of y'all might not like that. It might not be your taste, but it's like a period correct midnight club build with the big exhaust tips and the spoiler and the underglow. I hope that y'all enjoyed coming along while we shot this car. This is the best way I know how to uh, share some of the cool cars that I shoot is just to do, uh, you know, little ride-alongs with y'all kind of shooting along with me. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.